Hi friends, myself Kundalik Patil from SMD College of Engineering, Yavala. Today, in our lectures, our subject of tribology, we have to see hydrodynamic thrust bearings. Okay, so first of all, what do I mean by hydrodynamic thrust bearing? We have to see the bearing which support the axial thrust of both horizontal as well as vertical shaft. Okay. So, in this hydrodynamic thrust bearing, puncture are to prevent the shaft from drifting in the axial directions and to transfer the thrust load applied on the shaft. Vertical thrust bearing also need to support the weight of this shaft <clears throat> and any component attached to these bearings. The moving surfaces exerted against the thrust bearing may be at the area of the end of this shaft. <clears throat> And the color attached to it in the point of the shaft. So, in this thrust bearing, what are the various types of thrust bearings we have to see now? First of all, this bearing consists of the stationary flat bearing surface against which the flat end of the rotating shaft is permitted to the bar. In this figure, we are seeing. Is the flat end of this rotor while this bearing surface and this end of the rotor is always in contact. So, this axial movement for this hydrodynamic thrust bearings. So, in this hydrodynamic thrust bearings, the consist of the two planes which are non parallel. Surface is separated by the lubricant field, and one of the surface is held stationary as shown in figure. This type of bearing can support a thrust load <coughs> that is a load perpendicular to the direction of relative relative sliding motions. Okay. So, how to classify this bearing? We have to see now one by one. <laughs> These hydrodynamic thrust bearings can be distinguished or classified on their position and sliding. So, first one is flat pad thrust bearing. Okay. Flat pad thrust bearing. <clears throat> Second one is tilting pad thrust bearing. Third one is taper land fixed pad thrust bearing. Relaxed step bearings, spring supported thrust bearings, convergent thrust bearings, and this convergent and divergent thrust bearings. So we have to see one by one now. Flat pad thrust bearings in which a tapered pad thrust bearing and two planes and non parallel surfaces separated by this lubricant field. The stationary plane can either be fixed or pivoted so that it can assume inclination relative to the moving plate. This hydrodynamic thrust bearing is also called as fixed pad slider bearings or hydrodynamic plane slider bearings. The second one is tilting pad thrust bearing or Kingsbury thrust bearings. Okay. So in this type of tapered pad third tapered bear bearings consist of a moving runner plate and self-adjusting pad called tilting pad and therefore called as tilting pad thrust bearings. This tilting pad are pivoted at the point sometimes called as pivoted pad thrust bearings. So this type of bearings can be used more frequently in turbines, compressor, pumps, etc. Then we have some third types as taper line fixed pad bearings. Okay. So the construction it consists of moving runner 
and tapered land fixed pad, which gives the load carrying capacity better than this fixed pad bearings. This provided reliable and compact design. For a large variety of mid size to large high speed machines such as turbines, compressors, and pumps. The flat land provides a higher load, which carrying the load carrying capacity and minimize the wears. Okay, so fourth one is relied step bearings or step fill bearing. This type of bearing is also called as step fill bearing and it provides simple design for smaller bearings. And it consists of a stepped plate which is fixed and flat runner plates. So step height must be small with the same order of the thickness as the minimum film thickness for the optimum load capacity. This type of bearing are well suited for the use of low viscosity fluids such as water, gasoline and solvents. Then next one is spring supported thrust bearings. Convergent thrust bearings and convergent divergent thrust bearings. So in this spring supported, the flexible mounting is avoided, the high contact stress is imposed by loading the individual fuels. And in some of the largest thrust bearing, which carrying the millions of the pounds of the thrust, springs or other flexible support are used for thrust segments. And lastly, this convergent and divergent thrust bearings. Okay. Both the bearings <coughs> can be used <coughs> where the smooth pumping action of the fluid from entry zone to exit zone is without any shocks. So we see here tilting pad thrust bearings in which this axial direction, axial load is acted. <coughs> Again, okay. tilting pad thrust bearings. In the bearings on shaft, is the tilting pad is stationary or a flat surface <coughs> color and this back thrust from the water to the propeller causes axial loading on this shaft. Okay. So this is one of the step bearings, we are discussing step bearings, in which we are seeing there is one steps. Okay. And lastly, the application of these bearings, we can see the application of these bearings are in turbines, generators, compressors, gearboxes, and 